Hi everyone, it's Susan here, um, the Portland Makeup Girl. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe right now. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, do it all. Um, I'm about to share, literally, this is gonna be my favorite video ever posted because you guys get to meet my little soulmates, my pets, my loves of my life, my everything. Like, to me, it's like friends and it's like my pets. Like, friends, family, everything here. Like, my pets are just like my world. So I'm so excited for you to meet them. Um, I'm gonna go through each one and tell you a little bit about their story. So, here we go. My first dog I ever got was Abby. We got her as a puppy and she was just like instantly like I had never felt more greater love in my entire life. I just am obsessed with her. Um, she's about seven or eight now um, and we found pretty quickly getting her as a puppy that something was wrong with her she couldn't always walk she would just walk and then go completely limp in her back legs um after a while after a thousand um, vet visits when she was about a year we figured out um that she had an abscess on her spine and um we had to get it removed and she ever since then has always 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 had back problems and walking problems so she is very overweight we feed her the best food that you could ever have if you guys want any questions on pet nutrition or anything like that i actually worked at a pet shop as a store manager for many years so i have a lot of quick tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff on anything related to pets um but yeah so please no comments below on abby's weight or anything like that because my family knows that she's overweight and it's something that is very heavy on our hearts and once we found that out and everything we contacted our breeder it um our vets told us that it was a genetic issue um something that's passed um, down from her parents that she genetically got so our breeder offered to give us another puppy we still get abby we still got to keep her um but we got to get one of her sisters so the next dog that we got was little bits and she has always just been like the craziest most loving sweet dog ever but definitely the craziest um a little bit into having or sorry not a little bit into having her but after a couple years um my parents like lifelong dream something that they've always always wanted to do is have puppies again please no hate comments like i know adoption is like so 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 important but this, this was my parents' um, choice to do that, so um, please don't come for me. Um, but yeah, we um, little bits had puppies, and um, we got to keep one of the puppies, and that is the story of Molly, our next dog. So Molly is, um, I think she just turned two this year. She is like the love of my life like i'm literally so 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 obsessed with her she's so fun she's so crazy um when we first got little bits which is um the second dog we actually got a kitten at the same exact time we adopted it and um his name is georgie so he's the same exact age as little bits they're only a few days apart um and they got to grow up um with each other so um i hope you guys enjoy those pictures they're like literally my favorite pictures ever uh, just because they're so so cute um and 
probably I think around January I started getting super super fish obsessed so I have two aquariums right now one I am getting rid of and condensing um, because if you have an aquarium you know how much work it is but I have one fish who's blue he's a dwarf Grammy he's super cute he looks very majestic and blue and so pretty I have two catfish that just hang out the bottom one is pink and one is like a gray toned one I think he's a green Cory if I remember right um, and I have four blue tetras which blue neon tetras so cute those are just like I don't know like if you have those and you know they're just like the cutest little um, fish ever and they always school together which is really cool I have two other tetras that school together with my neon tetras I don't know the name of them I'm sorry um, I have one skeleton catfish which is like so cool I hope I'm able to include a photo because he is so so cute and then I have three algae eaters and I think that's all the pets I have. Right now I have one um, betta fish that I'm gonna be um, rehoming to my friend. Um, his name is Brian, I love him dearly from the depths of my heart. But like I said, it's just too much work to have two huge fish tanks. So um, he's gonna have a lovely new home at my friend's house. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe and then like this video. Um, I post content all the time. If you have any suggestions on what you would like to see, feel free to comment below. I love to create videos that you like to watch. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.